See, you can only love out of strength. It takes strength to love. You got to speak with purpose. We think that our salvation is based on performance. God is not a man that he's lying. He don't lie. You be a vessel that God can work. Because you somebody might need your holy presence to save them one day. Hi, Dr. Will Wheat here, and I want to talk to you today about the holiness of healing. And in this topic, I want us to, to remember what God is instructing us or how God is teaching us that His ways are not like our ways and His thoughts are not like our thoughts. He actually says His ways and His thoughts are so far in distance from our ways and thoughts, the measurement is like the east from the west. They never meet. So we need to change the way that we think and begin to train ourselves to think like God. It might not make any sense to us, but we are to trust His thought and His word and walk and let His thought and His word govern us. So by doing that, we will recognize some simple instructions that come from simple information. Now, one of the informations that the Bible gives us about ourselves is that we are holy. And the, the way that we come to that conclusion is that the Word instructs us, be ye holy as he is holy. So he wouldn't ask us or tell us to be something that we're not already made. Seeing that he invites us into his, his rest and his work has been completed from the foundations of the world, our holiness is already completed as well. So we are to be holy as he is holy. Now here again is a new mindset. Now we have to think of ourselves as holy. Now as he's holy and as he is not like ourselves or how we deem ourselves as being flawed, but he is holy, then we are holy and we're not, we're not flawed as well. Now, here is the, here's the miracle. Once we receive our true identity, then we, our relationship with sickness and our relationship with lack and poverty bewilderment and confusion is no longer valid because we are now holy as he is holy. Remember, Christ came to redeem our image and our likeness. In redeeming our image and our likeness, Christ has given us back what we had before the fall. That's, it. That's absolutely exciting. We have now, 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 not in time, but in eternity, we have recaptured our identity and our image, which is like God. We can be holy as he's holy. This takes a new mindset, a new way of thinking about yourself. Christ has given you his life. So your inheritance is the life of Christ. And if you have the life of Christ, and you do, there's nothing lacking. You have all abundance. You have all needs. You have every spiritual blessing. It is yours. All you have to do is accept God's gift and, and rest with Him. You don't have to labor. You don't have to work for this. You just have to receive it. And I'd like to continue this conversation with you in our upcoming videos on how that by receiving your healing, you are manifesting and extending your holiness by just, just reflecting your holiness, which is actually His holiness being reflected in you, it will drive your sickness out of your body. The last thing I want to leave you, or the last point I want to leave you, is that you're not a body. Say this with me, I am not a body. Say this, I am free. I am as God created me. I am not a body, I am free. I am still as God created me. God created you in His image and His likeness. He is spirit, you are spirit, you are free. You're not bound by time. You, are, you have the fruit of His peace in your life. You live in peace, you exude peace, everything about you is godly peace. And this peace will relieve you of all disturbances in your body. Well, we're going to end here, but I want you to remember God has plans for your life, and none of those plans include defeat. People of Greater Los Angeles, Apostle Will Wheat has a word from God that is revealing, powerful, and life-changing. Every Sunday, lives are being transformed by this powerful word from God. Families, 
businesses, church leaders, and the world are hearing God's plans for their lives. And none of those plans include defeat. It has been said that there have been Jesus sightings in his services. So you owe it to yourself to be a part of one of the greatest movements and Jesus sightings that this city has ever experienced. And you can download Apostle Week Sunday messages for free at nccfc.net. nccfc.net. Sunday services are at 1 p.m. And midweek services are Wednesdays at 7 p.m. There is faith for your destiny at nccfc.net. NCCFC, NCCFC.